You know, I think all rock stars want to be restaurant owners, and all restaurant owners want to be rock stars. So I got a great one for you. I'm here outside of Wilmington, Delaware. Now, this is where a record promoter toured all over the world with the big bands, the huge names. And finally, he said, that's it. I'm getting off the road. I want a taste of my flavors from home. So he opened his own joint. This is Tony's Pub. It's an authentic English pub with an authentic Englishman. And to have you here is an honor. Yep, owner Mike Stone has come across the pond to rock some hardcore pub food. Yorkshire sandwich and cheddar, pick it up. But before he was in the restaurant biz, this dude was eating up the music world. You worked with Bob Marley. Doobie Brothers I traveled with, uh, Fleetwood Mac. I was able to travel all over America, go to any restaurant. None of them served a decent fish and chips. None of them knew how to make Yorkshire puddings. So I said, if I'm going to retire and eat the food I like, I'm going to have to make it myself. Or at least recruit someone else to do it. I ate a meal. I asked, uh, I'd like to meet the chef. So I went back to the kitchen. I met Thomas Dawson, who was my head chef. You went and poached him out of another restaurant? Yeah. But how else do you do these things? That's how they do it in the rock and roll world. Yeah, it's coming along. It's like an extended family now, Mike, Thomas. They will not deviate from the authenticity of the recipes. Fish and chips up. I am a regular traveler to England. This is the best fish and chips I've ever had. What makes great fish and chips? Everything's fresh. Your batter, your fish, your oil. So you make a batter a few times throughout the week? A few times throughout the day. Set him up for that one. Now we're going to make the batter. We got flour, salt, pepper. And where did you get the recipe from? From Mike Stone. And where'd Mike get the recipe from? From his mum. His mum. Oh, look at you speaking the language now. A little water, mix it all together. You want that vinegar in now? Yes, sir. And there's our batter. Fresh Alaskan cod. Now we're going to dust our fish in flour, and it's ready to batter. So now over to the fryer? Yep. For 11 minutes. All right, chef. We're going to make tartar sauce, mayo. I didn't think there was tartar sauce in England. You're right, guy. There's no tartar sauce in England. We have to do this behind Stoney's back. Initially, we had to do it behind his back. How about Stoney. that? Stoney! How about that? <laughs> Relish. A little Worcestershire. Old Bay. All right, so that's done. And how about the fries? What are we doing for the chips? I cut the fries, soak them in the water, fry it off for seven minutes. Back in the tub, fresh water. OK, fry them for service. You got it. Let's see it. I like to put the chips on first, then that way you can build a little mound and rest your fish on. Flaky, tender fish, super fresh. Right. The batter is nice and crunchy. That nice big fry, great crunch. I don't like fish and chips because typically it's frozen fish, too much batter. Mm -hmm. If this is what fish and chips was every time I was getting fish and chips, I'd eat more fish and chips, man. Represent. Thank you.